Good morning, everyone. It is Jill, and today I am freaking jamming out to Grace and Chance because I'm seven years old. Just kidding. He grew up and he's really attractive and a really good singer, and I should stop. In all seriousness, um, I'm going out to the barn this morning and I'm gonna ride the Zazu, and it's actually 64 degrees, and I wore a tank top because I didn't know that because it's been a thousand degrees every freaking day since. <laughs> to Le Soub. And I do it all over again. Good morning, pretty. Pay attention to me. Hi. Good morning. I think I need a new babe. Okay, that works. So I just wanted to show you guys my new boots real fast. I bought these professional choice uh, open front boots that are pretty spiffy, if I do say so myself. Fetlock boots, they are quite awesome as well. Bought some Magic Equip cross country boots. These are mediums, they're the fronts, and the larges are currently back ordered, which is super frustrating, because I have a show in on that. So if, so if you guys have seen my work with me video, then you already know all of the things about the feeding and the dumping and all the things, so I'm not gonna do that, but I will have you guys walk around with me. Okay, so I had to bite the camera to turn it on. <laughs> a little cart, and the little pony said, good morning. They say, it's so early, you need to pull us. And then we say good morning to my two favorites. I got Lucy and Ollie. Ollie says, I stick my head right through the gate, Ma. I ain't afraid. Look at this little spot on his butt. So cute. You're so good. I love you. Look how absolutely stunning it is out here this morning. Like, I'm feeling it. I really wish there weren't scratches on the screen. That's kind of killing my vibe. So now I'm walking with my things down to feed my thing. Feed the Zazu. I have to feed it. He says, thanks. And now we walk back up to the barn, to the feed room, make up the afternoon feed, and then after Zoe finishes eating, then I shall ride! Madison called me and we talked for a minute, and now I'm like, ooh, pretty behind on what I was doing originally, but it's okay. Now it's on a tripod and I can talk to you if I want to, like this, and there is nothing you can do about it because now, it is more. Why does that happen all the time? I never burp until I'm on camera. Is this a stress thing? Okay, well, we're gonna go get Joe now. Good morning, Nitro. Good morning, puppy dog. He's very skittish, so I don't try to pet him. He says, I will follow you in silence. I was trying to do that without looking and I felt <laughs> Pretty girl, why are you standing like that? <laughs> you look like a mountain goat. What's going on here?
like just to give you guys a recap of what I did exactly throughout this ride. Um, I was just working our walk trot and canter and seeing what we needed to work on today, just feeling her out. And um, as I started with her, I noticed she was short and choppy like normal. She comes out a little. She is like trying to short change the gate any way she can. <laughs> She's like, ah, she says that's not true. She wouldn't flex to the right, which is normal. I have a weird thing with my left leg where I inhibit that and like it's just something we have to work on. So then I started doing like lots of transitions, like trot four strides and then walk three and then go trot, then walk, then canter, and then progressively her walk to canter trans transitions like oh my god was round used her back there was this one um i felt her push from behind and i almost got popped out of the tack backwards because it was so powerful i was like dude but it was beautiful like kept her roundness and up through her back and withers and oh god it was the best transition ever you're so good and then um i just worked lots and lots of transitions and like Oh my god, I can go, uh, and then she halts, or like, uh, like just subtle, subtle half halts, and she's so, so sensitive. She says, now you get in the hang of it. Lighter in her mouth, because like, as you guys can see, I can ride her on the buckle, and she's perfect. I just have to ride her off my body, and that's something that's going to take a little longer for me to develop the strength and everything. Cutie pop. Like, I hate to brag, but I don't. Like... Everything that she knows is a product of me. My trainer, of course, the clinics we've been to, of course, but everyone that's been hands-on has been the everyone of me. Like, Oliver, the one that's been riding her every freaking day and grooming her when I'm not and being out here and being around her and teaching her ground manners and vocal commands, it's all been me. And like Mary the other day had to lunge her for me when I was out with my nose surgery. And she was like, that's the best horse I've ever lunged in my life. She's so easy. You just walk, trot, can her and she does it because she knows them and I taught her them. And she like 98% of the credit goes to her. Like she's the smartest horse. She says, no. Oliver. She's the smartest horse I've ever worked with in my entire life. And like, I love Bobby to death, but he came with some baggage. And Zoe just being such a fresh slate and just ready and ready to learn. Like, I just, I, I can't even. I'm so, so freaking thrilled with this little mare. We've been working on good girl. That's good enough. Good lady. Is that uh, just a slight submission when I asked to take her halter off because I hate those horses. But when you take their halter off, they rip their head up and go galloping away. It's just an extra little step to 
show a little respect and a little discipline that when you go to take off their halter that they submit and put their heads down and patiently wait. And sometimes I slip it over one ear and then put it back on and everything just to keep them on their toes. Just be respectful. Oh, baby girl. She says, I like you. Baby girl. She's so crazy. How could you not want one? Look how shiny and pretty. Okay guys, so that is all for today's video. I am so absolutely thrilled with how Zoe went, and I know I went on for a literal century about it, but holy crap, she was so good. <sighs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm ecstatic with her. Um, I'm so ready for the show coming up at Middle Tennessee. We're doing Novice, and I feel like a few more rides like that, and we will be 180% ready. So, I just gotta work on my equitation and her relaxing. And uh, other than that, yeah, today was a super productive ride. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Comment if you want to see another one of these in a few weeks or something. Uh, what other videos, like if you want to see tutorials or just me talking about something. Uh, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I love making these videos for you guys. And I, if one person gives me positive feedback and is like, I enjoy watching your videos. I'm like, yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna make more. So, uh, yeah, just make sure that you subscribe. Check out my Instagram, Jet Eventing, and uh, Jill and Bo, which I don't know that I want to do anything about that name. I can change it to Jill and Zoe, but like, <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you later! <laughs>